Okay, now to what you might call robot wars. They're happening at a high school in the East Bay. The competition is pretty tough, and the students are pretty smart. KTVU Channel 2 reporter Bob McKenzie is live tonight with more on the battle going on there. Hi, Bob. Right, Frank. So why can't teenage kids get interested in something that's good for them? Well, they can, and they do. It is Tim Bob Charlie getting the first robotics competition on the face of it is about competition to get your robot to beat the other team's robots in hanging inflated tubes on a rack in horizontal rows or vertical columns. And if you can get in the way of the other guy's robots, all the better. But what it's really about is told in the acronym FIRST for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. This is designed to excite kids in math, science, engineering, and technology to get them to realize that they can do things they never thought they could do before. Each high school team gets a box full of robot parts and six weeks to build it. They can make their own parts and change the design any way they think it will work better. Typically, they tinker with the robots right up until game time. Do you guys get called geeks and nerds and things like that? No. No? Our whole school is full of geeks and nerds. So. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. There are seven all-girl teams this year. The Space Cookies, like the other teams, have a professional engineer advising them, but they do all their own work. Well, do girls have any advantage or disadvantage in this? Um, I think in first, girls are treated equal, for uh, which is a nice change in engineering because there's not many girls in the field. That blue robot belongs to the Cheesy Puffs, the regional champions. They're so sharp about all their competitors can do is try to get in their way. What makes you guys better? We don't give up. We just keep going. Nothing's ever good enough. You can see right now, the rest of our robots are working really fine. We're still trying to get our ramps working and just keep fighting. Like any game, it's about winning, but more, this one's about learning. There are 48 teams competing here on Sunday. Five of those will be named as the winners, and they will go on to the finals in Atlanta, Georgia. In San Jose, Bob McKenzie, KTVU Channel 2 News. Yeah, my apologies. There. I said that was going on at a high school in the East Bay. Obviously, as you saw there, it was going on down in San Jose. Yeah, it looks like fun. Well, let's go back over to KTVU Chief Meteorologist.